a long time, but there's a bunch of people that we're working with on actual um, hardware. And so this is sort of the experience, and the main thing that we're trying to do is make it super easy for um, you to be able to customize your phone, but also reach out to people who are most important to you and contact them in ways that they want to be contacted. So here you can see, here's all of my people. And the first thing it shows you is your recent people. So um, I've got people in here that I've contacted recently, and I've got all of my people, so I can flip across and have a look at all of my people. And so when I click on um, A, I can hit you know, N and bring up my mom. And so then it shows my mom's uh, profile and shows that she only wants to be contacted via email, but it also pulls up her What's New feed. So it'll go up um, online and pull up What's New, and then I can go and tap on those pictures to see those pictures. So if I hit back, then what it'll do is it uh, show, goes back into People, and I can scroll over and see What's New with all of my people. So it shows What's New for Facebook and Windows Live and Exchange, and I can easily go in and make a comment. So. Aaron, he's talking about how warm it is in Seattle. It's over 70 degrees, so that's warm for Seattle. So I'll say, too bad I'm missing it. And so I, I, I was horrible at the typing, but it actually doesn't autocorrect. It's right. an amazing autocorrect, super easy just to right. type 40 words a minute. And so very easy to go and just do that social activity. And now it shows that he has one comment, and you know, if there's a four there, there's actually four comments on that. So it's called a panorama. Each hub is a panorama, so you can flip across and see the same stuff that you've seen before. Now here, when I go back, I can actually see, um, you know, let's go and show maybe um, the calendar. So calendar is deeply integrated across Windows Live and Exchange and Google Calendar and all the calendars that are out there. So here it shows. The blue ones are my work stuff. The, pinks, the pink ones are actually um, my personal stuff. So here I can go click on basketball, and then it shows the basketball game that my daughter has uh, tonight. And so I can click on that, and then it actually pops up the address. So it launches and then shows the specific place where her basketball game is. And I can zoom in and then see more detail about that particular area. Show me the details in the streets, as well as show me the details on the location. If I click on the location, then I can go and find out, okay, what places are nearby? So I can go and find uh, maybe JJ Mahoney's Irish Pub. It's got a three-star rating. Maybe I'd rather have the uh, uh, Garlic Jim's Pizza. So I can find directions from my location or call it right there. But the whole thing about this phone is that it's super easy to get to the next task, to the next task, to the next task. So that's something that we wanted to kind of show how easy it was to get from uh, calendar to map to the you know restaurant and make reservations. So it's all kind of integra integrated in a way. It's all very deeply integrated that way. So, um, it's not the only thing that's integrated. So that was an example of uh, the calendar. But when you think about Office as an example, Office is also integrated. So Mail is integrated, but Office also has the ability to go and see all of your OneNote documents. Also has any sort of new documents that come up from SharePoint. Also has complete access to SharePoint. So you can view PowerPoint presentations and so this is just a sample uh, PowerPoint presentation that you can flip through uh, very easy. And other examples of sort of integrated experiences are the game hub. So we don't have this popul or, uh, populated with a lot of games yet, but you can flip across and then see your what's new for games and all the different information around games. This is my avatar, so it shows me and my gamer tiles and gamer points. And then this will show my request. So my wife and I maybe want to play uh, Scrabble or some turn-by-turn -turn game. This will show that it's my turn in a turn-by-turn game. Very powerful concept. And then just uh, more sort of stuff. So when I look at pictures, this is pictures not only ones that I've taken with my camera on the phone itself, but ones that are online. This is a random collection of pictures. And this is what's new with pictures. So um, if I go back and look at all of my pictures, I can easily see pictures that I've taken on my device, um, pictures that are just fun ones that I've synced across from Zoom. So now I can scroll across and see these pictures and zoom in, you know. So you can see that you can actually do the, you know, double tap. But also, when I scroll down, I can actually look at very specific pictures. So here I have pictures of you know, my kid's biking. Oh, wow. So I might want to check out, and these are pictures from online. So it's actually serving these up from Windows Live. It shows the social comments associated, 
and then I can easily scroll across. So these come down from live. Wow. So it has live and Facebook and all of your socially connected pictures. So it's these ones are, you know. So we're back out. And then, you know, we talk about different Gmail and Hotmail. So I have, um, I haven't set up Gmail on this one yet, but it does support Gmail. Okay. And I've got Hotmail, so this will show all of my Hotmail. When you think about mail, you know, you want to be able to search not only people, but you want to search various other things. So here, if I want to find things just from the Wall Street Journal, I can type in WSJ, and then it just pulls up things from WSJ. Now, what I can do is flag these ones here, or maybe mark as red. And so now Mark says one is red. So then this is just my unread email from Wall Street Journal. Again, a very powerful concept. And that's it.